2012, but Zinedine Zidane has guided them once more. Real Madrid are the footballing kings of Spain. It's in the DNA, said Zinedine Zidane. Unity was his watchword. And for players like Cristiano Ronaldo and Pepe and Ramos, and even Zinedine Zidane, who've seen it and done it and won it all, you can see what it means to them. They're starting the party here. They'll be dressing the Fiebles, where they will head back to in the wee small hours of the morning. And Florentino Perez does have a celebration planned in Madrid, but not for this week. He wants a double celebration, because he's still got his eyes on taking the European title as well. And for the first time in 59 years, hoping that Real Madrid can be champions of Spain and the champions of Europe at the same time. Party celebrations in Malaga and back in the capital as well. And commiserations in Barcelona. They finished the season three points behind Real Madrid. They've been close, but Terry Gibson, that table tells the tale, is it? At the end, they were just that little bit better this season. 100%. From week one, when they won 3 0 up Real Sociedad, their intentions were clear. They remained focused, determined. Their intention was to. Get the league the title back. They've done exactly that, and they fully deserve to. They've been absolutely brilliant. So Dan has been brilliant, and they fully deserve the league champions title. And our credit to Malaga. There was talk of them maybe folding here today, but they put up quite a fight. They forced Kayla Navas into a number of saves. They gave Zinedine Zidane a few scares, and now it's an outpouring of emotion from Zinedine Zidane. Just over a year in charge of this team, and his 27th game, he took them to the Champions League final and won it. This year, he won the World Club Championship. Now, he's almost got the full set, he's won La Liga. His eyes will be trained on Cardiff, and in the first week of June, taking the European title as well. The Malaga supporters seeing off a number of their players. The man who's done the damage today is one Cristiano Ronaldo who started the scoring in the second minute of the game. 40 goals this season, but it hasn't been a one-man affair. It has been a total team effort this season from Real Madrid. And who knows, maybe this is the start of a whole new era, the start of the Zinedine Zidane era. And Sergio Ramos, the very, very proud Real Madrid captain, has had his part to play, particularly against Malaga, scoring two goals in the reverse fixture at the Estadio Bernabeu. But as Rob Riley says, it's all about the squad strength. Hashtag squad goals. 19 different scorers in La Liga. And Zinedine Zidane will always be a man who has more of a reserved celebration. But this, anything but. And all of those have played their part. Mariano scored against Deportivo La Coruña. Marco Asensio, a tip to be one of the stars of the future, scored early on in the La Liga season. And Gareth Bale, remember that he started this season well. Of course, has had his injury problems, particularly uh, with his calf muscles, right calf this time, which has kept him out of this game, but may well still have a part to play against Juventus in Cardiff. We've seen this before, because Vasquez and Sergio Ramos, in their own way, celebrating a 33rd La Liga title, second in nine years, first in five since Mourinho was in charge at the Estadio Bernabeu. Let's just confirm then. The final La Liga table, the top of it at least. Real Madrid are champions of Spain and they've done it by a three-point gap over their great rivals Barcelona who also won by four goals to two at home to Eibar having been 2-0 down in that game. And the celebrations will continue down on the south coast. We saw Pepe with his selfie stick a bit earlier on. There he is at the front. And Casemiro there as well. Marcelo with the, the scarf draped around the head. Plenty of assists from him.